and must have a lot of fun with us. But the following show will be even more interesting. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to the next session. But what exactly is it going to be about? Yeah, I'm going to show you a, a trick. A trick? A trick. Is it magic or something? No, nope. even more magic. Hey. Okay. You will have your uh, 30, oh no, 20th birthday. Yeah, right? I'm young. So okay, young. 20th birthday. <laughs> and you don't need to tell me a single word. I can tell what you want as a gift. Oh, come on, are you kidding? No way, not a chance. How can you possibly know what I want as a gift if I don't tell you? Of course I'll show you. Okay. At the count of three, we both shout out the gift you want. Okay, deal. Okay. okay. One, One, two, two three. I, I don't want. <gasps> How did you do that? <laughs> Can't well, this. I'm not an expert of mind reading, but actually, they are. Let's welcome the next team. Battle of Sexes. How to read the mind of your opposite sex. Good evening, everyone. Let's watch a short drama, The Battle of Sexes. <laughs> How do you think the atmosphere of this restaurant? Not bad. This restaurant is famous for its lobster. How do you think? My new jets? Uh, it looks nice on you. How do you think my hairstyle today? Um, it's, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Have you had the experience that you don't know what your boyfriend or your girlfriend is thinking about? Sometimes you might wonder why he or she behaves like this and that. So if we know mind reading, if we know more about the opposite sex, maybe we can have a better and peaceful relationship with the opposite sex. So we have read three very relevant books and 12 articles regarding these issues. So today we will introduce you how men and women differ in verbal communications body language, and reactions to emotions. After our research, we found out that men and women are different, uh, are, make misunderstanding each other while verbal communication. And the most common case is question. How can a question be a question? Because men use a question as a question. If he asks you a question, he really wants to get information from you. But while women ask a question, Beware, she might just indicate what she wants. Let's see a short drama. Do you want to drink something? No, I'm not thirsty at all. You're a bad guy, you're not considerate, thoughtful. <laughs> In this case, the girl, when the girl asks, Do you want to drink something? She is actually saying, I want to drink something. And the boy just simply answered his question. And that comes out. And another annoying one is giving compliment. When um, when a man giving compliment, he tends to give it directly, and the women do it indirectly. For example, the boyfriend will look into her girlfriend's eyes and say, "I love you," but the girlfriend tends to say like, "Here's not me," coquettishly. And the book also mentioned that. Because uh, the girl use antonym is because they want to gather attention and your comfort and your agreement. It's easy to see the difference of the verbal communication, but can you spot the difference of body language? There are many books telling you how to know whether someone is telling a lie, but they didn't tell you what is the difference between men and women when they are telling a lie. According to an article, Body Language of Men and Women, when a man is telling a lie, he will pretend to look uh, relaxed, while a woman will pretend to look busy. Here comes our case. There are loaves of bread on the table. Martin first eats the bread. And later, Isabel also eats the bread. And finally, Vivian comes back. Nothing happened to your breath. What happened to my breath? I, I don't know, don't, don't ask me. As you can see in this case, Marty, the man, he pretend to look very relaxed, 
while Isabel, the woman, should pretend to look busy. And the second difference of body language between men and women is when they want to show their interest to you. According to an article, body language of men, if a man stares at, stare at you for a long time and with his face points towards you, he is absolutely interested in you. And according to an article, female body language, when a woman plays her hair and across or across her face, she is interested in you. And as you can see that this bell plays her hair and across her face and across it, it means that she is very interested in the handsome guy, Martin. And while you can see that Martin, the handsome guy, he stared at Isabel for a very long time and with his face, Point told you, he's really interested in Isabel, which then have a good story. Uh, <laughs> and besides verbal communication and body language, emotion is also in a sense situation. Men and women have different reactions to their emotions, and it's hard to guess how their emotion is because they normally express the, in a way different from yours. For example, my friend Frank tends to get drunk when he feels sad, and he doesn't want to share his feeling with others. On the other hand, my neighbor Michelle likes to cry when she feels sad. Once Michelle failed her midterm exam, and she was so sad that she leaned on my shoulder crying all night. <laughs> Apparently, Frank and Michelle have different reactions when they feel sad. But that's not coincidence. According to the internet article, how men and women respond differently to depression, it says men tend to repress their pain to protect themselves. They use alcohol, drugs, sex, excessive words, excitement work through to move away from their feelings. Another situation I found on Frank and Michelle is their reaction when facing stress. According to the internet code, stress brings out the difference in male-female brands. It says women tend to seek out social support while men are more likely to withdraw. Take Frank and Michelle for example again. Uh, Frank just wants to con concentrate on things he's working on, but uh, Michelle likes to talk to her female friends. With these two evidences, now you know what to do when the opposite sex you are with face depressed stress or feel depressed. Now, we know about differences about between males and females in three points. First, verbal communication. Second, body language. That's reaction to emotions. After Martin learned more about my reading, he knows how to get along with the opposite sex. Let's show you the right way. Do you want to drink something? Yeah, how do you want to drink? <laughs> In the other situation, <laughs> in, we know about difference. We know about how to read the mind of the opposite sex. You can change better of sexes to piece of sexes. Thank you for your attention. that most of you are so interested in this topic. Okay, so anyone has any questions to ask them? Come on, grab your chance. If you want to get to know what the opposite sex is thinking, ask them. Come on, come on. No?
Yes, uh, we are just showing some case. Uh, we are only pick some case because we want you to know more about how to get along with others. But it's also the difference between men and women. Any other question? No? You're not curious about this <laughs> interesting topic? Okay. Um, that's kind of personal. Do you really act like what you say? Just like um, when you say something. I believe most of the time, yes, because this of uh, according to those professional people and they wrote in the books. And we think it's quite... Yeah, it's reasonable. Other questions?
friends who always keep close and intimate relationship with their friends who are boys, like always going to movies together, hanging out, or even talking on the phone at deep nights. It seems that she's so popular among all the boys around her, just like a butterfly, and she thinks that in this way she can get her Mr. Right's attention. However, being so popular among a group of men will have the man you like confused. The man will think that, do you like him? Do you like the other one? So, girls, don't make every man to be the special one, though then there's no special one. And according to the book, you should still keep a certain distance with boys. You may ask that. Is that means I cannot have any friends who are boys? Of course not. You can have a lot of friends who are boys, but the most important thing is that you should let the one you like feel that he is really special among those boys. After knowing the right way to show in popularity, let's, wel let's welcome Reeve and Lucy to show you the, uh, those girls who always have good performance. I like Reeve so much. I want to show my good ability to let him know that I'm a good girl. Hey Reeve. How's your populous exam? Are you doing good? Haha, <laughs> I got 85 points on the exam. You can ask me any question that you don't understand. Hey, look, I got 100. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that I can answer your questions. <laughs> okay, um... Hey, it's time to go home. Let's take the MRT together. Oh, no way, I have a car. I can give you a ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I can go home by myself. <laughs> what? She can deal with all those things well, and I think I'm so useless, no! From girl's perspective, if they show an extra ordinary, or, ordinary ability or perform really well in the workplace or in school, they can get everyone's attention, of course, including the one she likes. In daily lives, some girls are always independent and strong. They think that they don't need much help from others, and they can, they can make everything perfect. Girls, you can do that, because the more chances that you can do on your own, the fewer stages that men can to be a hero. So, man wants the stages to be a hero, so leave the stages for him. And according to the book, boys like to be heroes, so you should allow them to show their strengths and abilities. Make him feel that he is needed, he is so important to you, you will want to protect you and take care of you. And remember, never be too aggressive in front of boys. After knowing the uh, good performance girls, let's welcome Reeve and Lucy again to show you what situation the uh, passive girls may encounter. Hey, I heard that boys don't like, like girls to be too aggressive and active. I must keep this in mind when I come across Reeve. Hey Lucy, how do you do today? Um, come on, be happy. Let's go to dinner. Uh, I think. Hey, Reeve. Have you had dinner yet? Uh, not yet. Let's go eat dinner together. Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> I bet that there are some girls sitting here who have the same feeling that when you stand in front of the one you like, you may feel extremely nervous and shy, then you can barely breathe. If you want to chat with that person, you can hardly find a word to speak to him. You may think that boys don't like girls who take active actions to impress them. However, boys and girls sometimes really think differently, right, Ethan? Absolutely, Winnie. This is what happens in reality. Girls often chatting very hard on Facebook but were speechless when face to face. So, when men are releasing and doing something for you, you need a response and feedback from him. So. What is not enough, it takes two to tango. And according to our survey, a lot of boys like girls being active. This is because they are afraid to fail if they take actions. So just give him a hint or just express your feelings naturally. You may get some surprising feedback. Now this to uh, the last. Do you still remember that in the opening we have the, this myth? And let's give a disclosure. No boyfriend before sophomore or never got a boyfriend in the lifetime in the university. So, 
we do it survey that on the internet we have um, the target was for the all the females a student in the university throughout the Taiwan. So already, when, uh, from our survey that 30 year girls have, you can see that there are nearly 84% that comfort is me. So I think that you can't be nervous, right? But however, we found that when we are, we are the four year girls, there are only less than um, thirty percent that confirmed this me. So what happened between the thirty and four year? You tell me. So love is well coming every time. So never give up. And when the love to come in, just smiling and never uh, just do it. Thank you. Is that 
women need to hide themselves in some way so they can leave the stage for the men to perform. But the thing is that men can also give women big hands when they see great performance. White women have to be in the supporting role only in order to get a man. And uh, this is to say that you can't make uh, every part of a woman to be very strong. And you may, may leave some private part or some the part it is not on the on the professions or something that when you are interact with the man and men always want to show something. So that is the car is not the point. I know yeah. I'm just using that as an example. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It can be a, a bigger salary, it can be a higher degree, it, it can be a, a, a better, a, a more competent team in, in working, or something like that. Just, just using the car as an example. Uh, I, I think that uh, um, maybe uh, maybe this woman have a good performance, like uh, she have a good salary, or she always got good grades. But uh, maybe we are talking about uh, her characteristic. Maybe this girl always have the um, first prize in some competition, or uh, she always got one hundred in, the, in her test. But uh, maybe her characteristic is like a little bit stupid or something, and the boys will think he's re uh, she's really cute. Good. Okay. Um, most of what? Most to, of I'm going, to, I'm going to rest my case, but uh, watch your language just now because you use stupid. I, I, I don't know the, the right, right. word. Yeah. To. Very wonderful in so many places, but that woman that needs to be a little bit stupid for the men to feel she's cute. I'm going to rest my case here because I want to see the rest of the, the, uh, the, uh, the performance. Sorry I'm being too talkative, but still, just something for you to think about. Thank you. And it's really exciting. It's like really exciting to face among the audience and the speakers, which was like really thrilling. But before we move on to the next uh, next topic, we're going to introduce another very important person here. Our dearest TA, Yifei. 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 Okay, let's move on. I said that it's just a legend. As long as you follow their advice, I think you will find your love someday. Yeah, I think so. Don't worry about me. And it's a cold winter, right? Yeah, it's so freaking cold today. I think you should go to find your prince charming, that you'll feel warm. Yeah, Don't I know. Catch a cold. I know. Okay, stop it. <laughs> I've got this. What's that? Ta da! <laughs> There's something you don't know. It's essential oil! It's been so popular in recent years! So, what does it have to do with the freezing cold weather? Mm hmm, seems like there are too many things out there that you don't know. Let me tell you. There's a saying goes that a drop of essential oil day keeps, keeps the, the doctor, doctor away. away. Let's welcome the next team. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I, I believe that all of you have the experience of being in a bad mood or having some annoying but not that serious health problems. However, few people will turn to smell for help when facing those problems. Do you know that the fragrance can not only put you in a good mood but also treat your illnesses? That's what we're going to talk about today. A drop of essential oil a day keeps the doctor away. Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is a form of medicine that use essential oil to treat people's illnesses. For this presentation, we have read at least five books and two magazines to find credible information to support our speech. And we are sure that uh, our presentation later is practical and useful for all of you because we will tell you how to make good use of essential oil and make yourself live better lives. Later, uh, we will first talk about the origin of essential oil and then talk about the solution of mental and physical problems. Now, let's start from the origin. Okay, today I'm going to tell you a very interesting story about this man named Jeff Fosse. He was a 
French chemists in back in the uh, early 20th century. And while he was in chemistry and while he was doing his experiments, an accident happened. He just got himself on fire, yes, but don't worry, he's just burning in the arm, so it's not very serious. And, and then he just had to find some water to pull out the fire, so he ran to the nearest liquid he could find, which happened to be a large container of uh, lavender essential oil. After that, uh, the burn he saw very just healed magically, and uh, the, he left no scar on his arm. And after, uh, after that, he became interested in the use of the essential oil and uh, started to do some research. And he was renowned as the father of the essential oil. And next, we are going to have Iris to tell you about the mental use of the essential oil. Do you know that fragrance will affect your body? According to the book, Staying Clean and Stubborn, if you like the scent of a kind of essential oil, the scent will positively influence your hypothalamus, which is a part of your brain, controlling sleep and emotion. That's why we can use essential oils to solve mental health problems such as moodiness and inability to concentrate. Here is an example. You just got your meat. You just got your meat and back. You are upset at seeing the bad scores. Rosemary can cheer you up. Add four to six drops of rosemary oil to a bowl of hot water. Move closer and breathe in the steam. That will make you more cheerful and help you keep going to have a better job, better scores. Another example is that. You stay up late to prepare for the final exams. Feeling exhausted and need to increase concentration. Eucalyptus oil can help you. Add one drop of eucalyptus oil on the finger and massage it tenderly on your scalp. The oil will be absorbed quickly and refresh you. Now that you have learned the origin of essential oils and it's useful to solve mental health problems, Next, let's suddenly introduce you what kind of physical problems can be solved by essential oils. Do you believe that essential oils are good for your body? Trust me, the essential oils are amazing. Because the scientific says, when your body absorbs the aromatic substances from the essential oils by message, your brain will command your body system to do something helpful. For example, when you have headache, what will you do? You might go to see a doctor and take medicines four times a day. However, here comes another option, a more healthy option. This one is margarine, a kind of herbs. And how to use it? You can apply two drops of the oils into a bowl of cold water, and then prepare a cotton, a clean cotton cloth, bring it up and cover on your head. That will soothe your head. And for the next case, acne problems. We all know that it is not easy to deal with the acne problem or some pimples on your skin. But here comes a little bottle of the tea tree oil. This one, it has its magic power. Does anyone want to try? Hey, Lisa, come here. <laughs> 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 Where is your acne? <laughs> okay. the, the steps to use the oil is very easy. Just apply a drop of the oil on your skin. <laughs> and then after a few days of applying this oil, you will find out your pimples get disappeared and your skin skin will become amazing. Okay, thank you. Now, we have learned so many information about the essential oils. Here comes the conclusion. In the conclusion, let us review what we learned about essential oil today. First, we know that in our origin, 
we recall a cute professor, Carl Fosse, who uh, burned his arm and you finally developed aromatherapy. Next, we know that essential oil can help to smooth your mood so you can uh, be cheered up again and can get focused on your work. Last, we know that essential oil can also help to improve your physical condition so you can no longer have problems like headaches and acne problems. As a college student today, we all have our stress problems from time to time. But uh, in your future, if you are during some harsh time, I really hope that you will recall these beautiful candles with great fragrance, fragrance and most importantly, our topic again. And what is our topic? Some of essential oil a day keeps the doctors away. Yes, essential oil do possess magnificent power. So uh, I would highly recommend you to give aromatherapy a shot and you will find out a short ticket to a relaxing life in this competitive society. Thank you for your listening. Q&A se session. Any question? Yeah. Uh, I want to know where can I buy it and how much <laughs> For the, uh, take the tissue oil, for example, I, I just bought it today. <laughs> and it, it just cost me about three, uh, $365 a bottle. And a bottle is 30 ml. Yeah. So, you can use for about two months. Yeah, so it's not so expensive to afford. Any other questions? We are the experts. Yeah. Do you have any health issues? Yeah, people have bad things, right? Have good colds. Well, you want to come here for an exam? <laughs> any question? What would be the best essential oil for the neck, for example? Neck? For the neck. Or shoulder and neck. Is it helpful for the neck? Chamomile essential oil is helpful for shoulders, stiff. Which one? Chamomile. Yanganju. His Chinese name is Yanganju. Good question. And let's finish the team. Oh, the essential oil is so cool. I never know that it can be a kind of therapy. Uh, I believe that with this small bottle of oil, I can always stay healthy and pretty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jeff, why are you so tired today? I stayed up very long, very late that night. <laughs> um, did you have breakfast this morning? No, I had brunch at McDonald's. Okay, you stayed up late. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're always burning midnight oil and you always have junk food for breakfast or for lunch. Seems like I'm really, really worried about your health. So what? Do you know you're dying? Let's walk on the next scene. Do you know you're dying? Restaurant, which is very common around NCCU. And in the afternoon, you feel so thirsty. Then you go to come by and get a cup of drink. In the evening, 
You still go to the all-you-can-drink restaurant and have your dinner. At night, you feel so hungry that you go to 7-Eleven and grab your midnight snack. And you suddenly find out that, oh shit, I haven't finished my report. So you have no way but to stare at your computers for more than two or three hours. Then you go to bed at 2 p.m. It's a normal college student's life, but do you know you are dying because of your bad habits? Look at this poor girl. According to the books, assets, and magazines we found, it is such as that your poor eating habits, bad sleeping habits, and excessive computer use are killing you. So now, first of all, uh, sorry, and also we did a survey on 300 NCCU students, and it shows that most of us have these bad habits. So now, first of all, we are going to introduce how your poor eating habits is killing you. Yes, so now we're talking about poor eating habits. Uh, just like the girl in the story that snacking non-stop will call your, cause your body float with unhealthy ingredients, and that will, of course, cause a lot of problems like blood pressure, diabetes, and of course, your body will be as fit as this young boy. What's even worse is about your drinking habits. You may say, what's wrong with me drinking a little cup of tea? I'm not drinking alcohol. Well, it's the sugar that matters. But you may also say, what? I only have half of the sugar in one cup. But do you know that half of sugar contains 7 to 10 cubes of sugar in it? And according to our survey to our 300 NCCU students, we know that we guys drink around 5 cups of drinks per week. And that means 35 to 50 cubes of sugar. And we have around like 42.5 as the average number. And I assume that you do this for the next 30 years. I cannot assume longer because I think if you keep drinking like this, you may not live longer than 30 years. <laughs> then that will lead to 2,000 cubes of sugar. And that will be 12,000 grams of sugar. Horrifying, huh? And of course, that will lead you dying. Last but not least, the most horrifying thing is the chemical addicts. What's most difficult for chemical addicts is because we cannot sing them. But according to Japanese survey that all these different kinds of chemical addicts, we are eating up to 80 different kinds of chemical addicts a day. And that will accumulate it to 4 kilograms per year per one person. And you can see this horrifying charts that all these different kinds of chemical addicts are leading to different kinds of cancers. And cancer, of course, will make you die. So now, maybe you have very, very good eating habits, but you are still dying because of bad sleeping habits. Thank you, Dr. Shirley. Um, we believe that many college students often from the midnight but do you know what serious problems it can cause our health? Burning the midnight oil can cause sleep deprivation, and it means that your sleep is deprived, so you have short sleep duration. And according to this resource, short sleep may lead to many chronic diseases like diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and even stroke and cancer. It's terrible, right? And let's look at this chart. This chart is about the relationship between the sleep duration and chronic disease. The average sleep is 7 to 8 hours, and you can see that people who sleep less than 6 hours have 30% increased risk of getting chronic disease. And let's look at the results of our survey. You can see that only 10% of college students sleep before 12, so be aware of your time go to bed. And even though you sleep enough, but do you sure you have good sleeping quality? And let me ask you a question. How many of you say good night to your friends on FB before bed? Please raise your hands. Okay, many of you. And let me tell you that according to National Sleep Foundation, using electronics before bed may hamper our sleep. Why? Let's look at this picture. 
The artificial light of the electronics will surprise the release of the sleep promoting harmony, which is melatonin, and making more difficult to fall asleep or even disrupt the sleep process, and may also cause sleep deprivation, like we mentioned before. And now that we have them, how poor eating habits, bad sleeping habits can harm us. We're going to tell you that your best friend, your computer, is destroying you, not helping you. Thank you, Dr. Jessica. And now, let's talk about why we shouldn't use computer too much. According to Guardian News, people who use computer too much will get a disease called glaucoma much more easily. What is glaucoma? Let me introduce it with two pictures. You can see this one is what you see with normal vision. And this one is what you see with glaucoma. Glaucoma will happen to us when high eye pressure keeps hurting our optic nerve. And until one day our nerve fibers are totally damaged. And the news also mentioned that a college in Japan has 10,000 people who use computer regularly. As a result, a third of them has suspected glaucoma. That means people who use computer frequently just like you and me have high probability to get glaucoma. You may question that. We don't have any eye problems now. But actually, glaucoma is the kind of disease that you won't notice it until it happens. And the other reason that we should keep away from computer is like computer radiation. According to Bellan Online, computer, computer radiation can cause headache, insomnia, blood disease, or even cancer. Scary, isn't it? So now it's time for our conclusion. Uh, most of us are aware of how close these issues are to us. Now that you know how your poor eating habits, bad sleeping habits, and excessive computer use are damaging your health and even are killing you. And by listening to our speech tonight, you can save your life, save your friend's life, and save all of NCCU. <laughs>
Hey, Marjorie, you know what? I just uploaded new profile pictures on my Facebook, but no one seems to care about it. I got zero likes! Oh, poor choice! No one cares about you! You know, I just changed my profile picture, and I believe I can get a lot of likes, you see? Oh, I just get one like. And that's for me! Right, I wonder why all of them can get such attractive pictures and get a lot of likes. Yeah, I want to be like one of them, which can attract people's attention. What can we do? Ah, uh, no worry. It's a very professional photography instructor who has searched for free photography books and two photography online school and two magazines. We would like to introduce a very simple rule called free P rule. And don't think too much. It simply stands for free keywords: robot, clothes, and props. Well, the first key part of profile is about making the first impression. So, making a good profile, people will call you, maybe. But then, if you know how to pose well, it's about making a good body language to show your good characteristic. People will call you for sure. And lastly, if you know how to use some simple props to create a very romantic atmosphere in a picture, people will call you must. So, everyone, whether you're eating for love or not, whether you're single or not, people always want to look Perfect, I mean picture, right? So please stay focused on our following introduction. Okay, a profile picture is very important in making a very good first impression. So, how to make a good profile pictures? Here are four simple rules for you to follow, which, which is our angle, gesture, smile, and breath. If you want to get more likes in Facebook, you must follow what I'm going to say. So, the first one is angle. A little bit side face is suggested when choosing the angles of your pictures. Such ways will make your smile more obvious and the whole picture is friendly. <laughs> but if you took pictures directly to your front face, people will feel the picture stressful and aggressive because the, they might feel that you're staring straight at them all the time. So don't do that. So the second one is gesture. Hand gesture can help frame the lines of your face to make some special effects. Such as you can use your face, your, your hands to cover some parts of your face to make it look smaller. That's a very useful way, uh, like you can see in the pictures. So uh, the next one, smile. Um, tips for a beautiful smile to, in a profile picture is to smile, smile with eight teeth. But if you smile with eight teeth, the smile will become bigger and the, and the pictures will become more sincere. But I'm not said, you smile less at eight teeth, people will feel your smile. And the last one is breath. When take a breath and hold it while taking the profile pictures. Um, holding a breath can make, make your eyes wide open and your back more straight, which will make the whole picture naturally energetic. So above mentioned are four simple tips for you to make a good profile pictures, and all of them are very easy for you to do by yourselves. So just try them, and you can change your pictures and change your world. Okay, thank you, Anna. Now let's move on to the second P post part. First of all, we'll talk about man pose. So gentlemen, there is a very simple slogan for you to follow. First, hand fitted, arm crossed, joint bended, and shoulder pull back. Just join us up. You can simply have your hand grab something and or just put by the side. Or second, you can just put it in the pockets. And for more you can you can just simply grab the piece of clothing. That sounds so cool. So let's go hard. This is a good demonstration for standing position. So you can just either just cross your arm and cross one leg in front of the other. And then let's move on to the joint belly part. This is a very good demonstration for standing position. Remember, human joint is like our knees and elbows, knees and elbows. If they can bend, just bend them. Okay. And now, your shoulder should be pulled back. Remember to follow the arrow. Your one shoulder should be a little bit lower than the other, and do not hunch back. Okay. And now, let's say we provide you some poses for laying on the wall. And they all have a simple slogan. What is it? Your hand fitted, arm crossed, joint bending, shoulder pull back. <laughs> Move on to the post stressful woman, and according to the books, we organize four basic principles for women to follow. It's very easy to remember. It's called ABCW. A is for abdomen. Remember to shrink your abdomen when you take a photo. And B is back. Do not be hunched back like this. And C is chest. Remember to trust out your chest. And W, west. 
to make good use of your waist to show your body curve. And let's see how this ABCW principles work in photos. If you don't pay attention, your big abdomen will show how much you eat every day. So remember to shrink your lower abdomen when you take a photo. And next, if you're hunchback, you look just like an eight-year-old woman. So just remember to stretch out your chest and make your back straight. And next, don't just stand there like a dumb. You can simply put a hand on your waist, then move a little slightly and a little forward to show you sexy ass curve. Okay, now let's come to a little extra bonus. When you are seated, remember two things. First, you can put your uh, put the center of gravity on your tip toes like this. Do not this. Just push hard on your feet. And second, try to have a half of your seat. And let's see how it works. It makes your legs much longer and makes you so outstanding, right? Okay, thank you, Felicia. And after learning the facial expression in a profile picture and learning how to pose properly, now we take this photo. However, we found out that is a very serious problem. The photo is so dark that I just look like in a graveyard. So, <laughs> in order to make this photo become bright and perfect, now we have three tips. The first tip, we can make good use of some props. Using the umbrella can focus the light. And using a flashlight can easily strengthen the light. However, if you think that you won't bring a flashlight wherever you go, the LED light on your cell phone is your best choice. And then, always remember to turn your body for 45 degrees. It is a suitable angle for everyone to take pictures. And then you can adjust your distance between you and the camera. Come closer to the camera, you can create a more, we create a picture with more contrast, just like this. And after adopting those three steps, you can make a picture which previously like taken in the graveyard into like in heaven. Okay, okay, then I'll leave the conclusion to Felicia. Okay, now that we hope that you have all kept these three pillars in mind. Profile, post, and props. And we hope that you can use these tips when you take the photos next time. And last but not least, we are going to show you a perfect example who follow all our rules. And let's welcome the most beautiful, most attractive, and sexiest model of NCCU, Eli! <laughs> picture be more beautiful so that you can get as many likes as I do. <laughs> Quick, ask questions. Your last chance. Okay. Seems like you have a question. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're really professional team. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You have mentioned that you can use cell phone to improve your pictures. And how do you use a cell phone to can you give us an example? Uh, the LED light on your cell phone. You can you can uh, shut on your face and make your face become bright. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, what about the umbrella? Is the LED umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the umbrella is helped to perfect the light from the LED flashlight. If you put a uh, umbrella uh, 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 behind, uh, in front of the person, and the light from the flashlight will reflect more light to the person. Could you show us? There is an umbrella. Um, the, actually, we would prefer the flashlight, which is the more stronger one. So, that's the, uh, the use of the umbrella is to create an atmosphere that is not too strong or sharp. It's a little bit like more smoother, so it will be more romantic. So let's say you so, um, so because of the yeah, because maybe you should be a little bit darker to to show it more obvious.
applause for our Wow, we've learned so many things today. Really? We learned about traveling, exotic delicacy, and percussion, and decision making. And we also have a closer look at mind reading, finding our loved ones, and also, most importantly, how to stay healthy and as beautiful as I am! Yeah. Yay! professional photographer to take a, a group photo for all of us. Come on. Come closer. In the 